Today I'm going to be showing you 15 helpful keybind and console commands for Rust. But before we get into it, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe to this tips help you out. Thanks. Up we got auto run. Basically you go into your console, you type binds and whatever key you want. So I want key forward, semicolon, sprint. And then every time you press that key, you just start running. And if you want to stop it, you just press W and you can aim it. You want to put console, find, Z, attack, and now when you press Z, you start hitting. So we have auto swing. Basically, find, and then the key you want, so I'm going to press O, forward, semicolon, sprint, semicolon, jump. And now whenever you run through water, you press O. Always keep you at the top and you'll always keep swimming. Physics steps command. So basically, it's default set to 32, so you just do physics dot steps. And set to 32, you want to set it to 60, and it basically makes you jump higher. And I'll show you where this can be used in the launch site jump. You've got to jump on that little lump and you can get over the fence. It's really helpful in tight situations when you need to park all your way out of things. Basically, it's called player recoil comp, and you can see what an improvement makes without it on. Here it is. It flicks up, and if I go player dot recoil comp true, you can see how much of a difference it makes. How it just flicks directly back down to the head. It's an in-game feature, and it doesn't can't be banned or anything. It's just how Rust works. Like it's so easy to tap on and then Next up we have a cool thing with the function of ways. So you can see like there's a ways outline, it's very hard to see your bodies and stuff when you're on cargo if you shoot them at a boat. But if you do graphics dot waves zero, you can see it completely deletes the wave and it's so much easier to see bodies and stuff in the ocean. Alright, look at radius. So basically it makes you easier, it's easier to interact with doors and also pick up loot further away. So basically you want to do Client dot look at radius 20 and so you can see it from way further, you can see it from all the way over here compared to like right here. It's very useful if you want to like close doors and stuff in this part of a, like an online array or something. Function that will help you like keep your frames up and stuff, it's basically a way to turn strobe lights off indefinitely. So see how it's, it can produce screen tearing when it's on. But if we just go to console, strobe, light, and then dot force off, true, it just turns it off indefinitely and you can hear it's still going. But it, that'll reduce screen tearing and if someone's got that going in their face, you won't get frame waves. You've got through the AK and all your guns that you have out. So you can see with, with it off, you can't see any of your stock on your gun. If you turn it on, it's graphics.vm. underscore, sorry, fog underscore scale false. It brings the gun out so much more, it's just so much more cleaner. You can see your stock when you're running and stuff, it just makes it way better. Helps you when you're trying to turn on furnaces and turn them off in base. You basically just go into console, type input dot hold time 0.1 and basically you can halve your time by turning on furnaces and turning on campfires and stuff in the base. It's really helpful just for if you need something done really quickly. We have an inbuilt frame rate counter in Rust, so we just press F1, we do perf and then one. And now at the bottom left of my screen you can see it's 100 FPS and it shows you and it's really clean and it doesn't affect the game in any way with performance. Okay, you run up and you have to uh, manually crouch you under this, but with the bind you can do that all automatically. So you go into console input dot auto crouch true. And basically now when you run up to stuff that you have to crouch under, it automatically does it for you. So you don't have to um, like manually crouch, it's just one less thing in intense situations. Basically, um, garbage collection thing so they'll improve your frame rate. The 
first one is console GC dot buffer. And you want to have it set to 4096. I'm pretty 4096. I'm pretty sure it's by default like 200 or something. It basically reduces the time that you need to um like Rust cleans up frames and stuff, so you get less lag spikes throughout the game. Is it GC dot incremental. Underscore milliseconds one. So now you would take less time for your garbage collection, basically. Right, so this one is a PvP find. So when you're in a fight and you want to pull up combat log, but you don't want to type it all in, you basically just do find F1 console toggle semicolon combat log. And now when I keep, like shoot someone. It'll bring up the combat log, but it just doesn't do that because I'm on a server. Um, if you want more console tips, just comment below, and I really appreciate if you liked and subscribed because I want to make more Rust content. Uh, I'll catch you in the future.